Here in this session, we are discussing how the mapping cardinalities can be mapped onto the ear diagram. So, how the mapping cardinalities can be implemented on an ear diagram using proper examples. You are, we are having a separate video where you have discussed what is mapping cardinalities. So, we are having four different types of mapping cardinalities that is the many to many, many to one, one to many and one to one. So, let us discuss all of them in this particular order one by one with proper example. See, so here you see this is a borrower relationship. This is a loan entity, this is one customer entity. With this customer entity, this set of attributes are connected. This customer ID is the prime attribute here. Against this loan, these are the set of attributes. This loan number is the prime attribute because it is underlined. Borrower is the relationship. So, let us go uh, in this particular sequence many to many, many to one, one to many, one to one. In the earlier video, we have discussed already that in case of many to many, there will be no arrow as I have not given here. In case of many to one, there will be arrow from this side to that side. Always remember, whenever I am finding one, that side will be one arrow. Whenever I shall be finding one, this side will be having arrow. Whenever we are having one on both sides, then arrow will be there on both sides. Just remember this one, that will be easier for you to understand. So, let us go for the first one, that is the many to many. Many to many means against one customer ID, we are having multiple loan IDs. That means this particular bank issues multiple parallel loans. Parallel loan means a customer can enjoy multiple loans. Say one, say one uh, house loan, he has taken one educational loan. I say another one is say some property loan. So, in this way, mortgage loan. In this way, multiple loans, this particular bank is issuing against one customer. But this side is also many. That means against one loan number, we are having multiple customer IDs. That means in case of business loan, let us suppose you and myself has, we have decided that we shall take one loan from the bank and we shall do one business. So, in that case, that will be known as a group loan. I am take, I'm just considering, the, considering that one as a group loan. So, group loan means against one loan number, we are going to have multiple customer IDs. And against one customer ID, we will be having multiple loan numbers. So, we can issue, the, we can write in this way, this particular bank, in this particular case, many to many, issues parallel, multiple parallel group loans or personal loans. So, in this way, we are depicting this many to many. That means, against one customer ID, one or more than one loan IDs, against one loan ID, one or more than one personal IDs. So, that is the, that is the respective inference. In case of many to one, so let me write that one. So, many to one means arrow will be coming to this particular side, many to one. That means, against loan number, against one loan number, we can have one or more than one customer IDs, but against one customer ID, there will be only one loan number. That means this bank issues group or personal loan, which is non-parallel. That means a customer cannot, cannot enjoy more than one loans because against one customer ID, there will be one loan number, but against one loan number, there will be multiple customer IDs. So, as an inference, I can tell that this bank issues in this particular case that is many to one cardinality ratio non-parallel group loan or personal loan. Next one, we are going for this. That means the arrow will be directed here. That means the arrow will be directed here. So, there will be no arrow here. Only the arrow will be on this particular side. So, this is my many and this is my one. So, this is my one sorry this is my one and this is my many so this is my one and this is my many arrow will be directed towards the one so now what does it mean it means that this particular customer can take multiple loans but one loan number is having only one customer id so one customer id can have one or more than one loans but against one loan number there will be one customer id that means, this bank does not issue any group loan, they issue only the personal loans. So, as a result of that, I can write multiple parallel personal loans this bank issues. Because against one loan number, there will be one customer ID. So, it is a personal loan, not a group loan. And against one customer ID, we are having multiple loan numbers, 
that means in parallel the customer can enjoy multiple loans personal loans let us go for one to one in case of one to one arrow will be on the both sides so that means against one customer there will be one loan number so this is a personal loan and against one loan number there will be only one customer so this is a personal loan because against one loan number there will be one customer id and against one customer id there will be one loan number that means we are having non parallel personal loans so if i have taken loan from this particular bank until and unless i pay the full money back bank will not issue another loan against my customer id so in this way this four cardinal deals have got four different meanings i've done the listing here accordingly you can easily take the note and understand the process so giving arrows and not giving arrows it matters a lot thanks for watching this video